calm down, okay? It, it's hard to contain myself. I just want a million dollars in a truck. The CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, is on a va- Are you telling me that Mark Zuck is Mark Zuckerberg? I had no idea. This is complete. He's the CEO of Publishers Clearinghouse? You have no idea how lucky I am. Publishers Clearinghouse contacted me. So here it is, guys. Danielle Lamb from Publishers Clearinghouse Department office located in Jericho, New York. What could this be about? Have you been informed about the ongoing lotto of year 2022-2023? No, I, I, have, I have not heard such. Only about the Ed McMahon Mandela effect. Well, she's here to inform me about the online conduction going since 1953. It is to thank those who always make their house clean and take care of it. This is too much. Publishers first, I mean, I'm the lucky winner of $1 million from Publishers Clearinghouse and this Ford truck. That truck looks nice. Can you see how it's getting ready? She wants me to know this is real and legitimate. I didn't even, I didn't even question it. I just gave her my address and she's like, calm down, okay? It's hard to contain myself. I just want a million dollars in a truck. This promotion was made to make all the citizen wise and up to take good care of their surroundings. I want you to know this lottery is 100% real and legitimate. So I have nothing to worry about because the United States FBI are fully aware of this. So the FBI knows I won? And Danielle is my claims officer and I give her my address again. Like my neighbors won't believe seeing me in a new truck. And then she shows me some of her lucky winners. I'm like my neighbor Hank is going to flip his lid. Like seriously, those suckers only won 10,000. I'm winning a cool mill and a truck. <laughs> oh, she's like, are you fully ready to claim your point? Yeah, yeah, I dropped my address again. And she needs my license as a safety protocol. All right, here we go. I like that they never question. I have a full front and full back in the same picture. Can you come down to our head office located at New York to get your winnings or you want us to deliver the winnings to my doorstep via FedEx? I'm <laughs> going to New York. Five minutes later. Your winnings will be handed over to the FedEx company because they... No, 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 no. I said, I said I would come pick it up. No need to involve FedEx, but they're the ones to deliver it. The delivery fee is $300. No, no, wait. So you said I could go down there. So what's the address? No response. Okay, I Google it. Is this the address? Yes, but the fee is needed for the delivery. Of the no, no, I'm coming to you. It has already been handed to FedEx. Then why ask me if I can come get it? The fee's needed. Yeah, okay. What's the tracking number? Here's the tracking number, but it's not going to work yet until I pay the fee. Okay, so the truck's coming to me. Do I have to come pick up the money? The most important thing is to note is that I'm dealing with the right office. Yeah, the right office. 300 Jericho? Is that where I'm coming to pick up the money while the truck is being delivered FedEx? Yeah, confirmation. I'm taking a bold step in the right way. Yeah, yeah, but you told me I could come. I don't understand if I could come down there why you're now refusing me. She's not refusing me, but it's already been handed to FedEx. It'll be delivered to my doorstep. Then why even ask me? I, I'm, you, you ask me and then 15 minutes later, you're handing my truck over. I'm, it's, the whole thing seems reckless. Like, do you know where my truck is right now? That's my concern. Is my truck okay? The most important thing is to note that I'm dealing with, yeah, you told me that already. You've told me that. So what are you scared about? I'm I'm scared about where my truck is. Did you lose my truck? You told me I could pick it up, and then 15 minutes later, it's gone. Do you do you even know where my truck is? <sighs> Should I just call FedEx? Bright is the shadow that my true love casts. Dark is the light he sheds. I called FedEx, like you said, and 
they didn't have anything with that with that routing number yet. So is the truck is the truck there? Can I pick it up from there still? I can come this afternoon. And I told FedEx when they get my number in, don't put a scannable barcode on my truck's paint because you'll ruin the paint. Originally, I was offered the opportunity to go and pick it up, but now it's seeming to be difficult to get a meeting with the CEO. I don't, you know what? I don't even need to meet the CEO. Why is this an issue? But she's trying to convince me to just pay the $300 delivery fee to FedEx and I will have my truck and money within 24 hours. The next morning, I mean, like any word from the, the CEO and, and his appointment book? I, I haven't told Hank about the truck yet. I want him to be surprised when I drive that thing in. And she says it, it would be so nice if I make this a surprise for everybody. I'm glad she agrees. Well, the CEO is not going to be available till next Tuesday at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Or I'm going to miss him because I'll need his signature and permission. I'm like, how do I get his signature? Well, I'll get it when I come to the office. And then she wants to go to Google Chat. And she had already been messaging me on Google Chat. So we'll catch up with that. She's really pushing me to go FedEx, though. She's like, yep, that's the time you got to do it. But I really should, you know, it's better if I really go with FedEx. I'm like, you know what? I would love to meet the CEO. This is, I'm excited. I am so excited. So excited that I booked my flight. Check it out. Here I come. Do you think she's excited for me? I mean, I can't wait to get my hands on that truck. Okay, so when I booked my ticket, Danielle did not respond back to me. But Mark Zuck did. Mark Zuck. It's quite unfortunate that I found my way headed down to their office to get the winnings in the truck. Um, but there was a due date for the pickup and it's closed. So I, I'm, I'm just going to have to have it delivered. I, of course, had to get my lawyer involved. James Crothers III. I mean, I purchased a plane ticket. Mark Zuck clearly understands what we mean. And there won't be any problem. I need to pay $300 for the activation of the winnings, um, which I'll be reimbursed back. Of course, James Crothers is like, to clarify, my client needs to pay $300 to get $300 back. Uh, furthermore, since you said you would be adding $401.83 to the total, can't you just subtract the $300 from that? He's like... You're not paying 300 to receive 300. Chad here was selected among 10 lucky winners that won a million in a brand new Ford truck. You'll find the attached images. Here's the money. There's the package. The money is, it was in that and then in the briefcase. I'm kidding. Anyway, here's my truck. Even got an interior shot. That's nice. Dearest Zuck, we are astonished at the prospect of not only $1 million, but also a Ford truck. Fingers crossed that it has Wi-Fi, does it? So my client is ecstatic to receive his prize. As that briefcase picture is great verification, we are assuming that the briefcase comes with money as well, or must that be returned? Um, but nobody's advised me on how to make the payment at this point. But apparently, three options available. Bitcoin, gift cards, or Cash App. And my, my lawyer's like, uh, he's, he's willing to use Cash App, which of course I am. And I tell Danielle the same thing. Cash App's my pre preference, and she gives me Big Shot Rob's Cash App. And of course, my lawyer has, has questions. Who is this big shot, Rob? Is he trustworthy? Absolutely. One of the best delivery agents on FedEx. I do my little Photoshop job um, and, and send this. And then Mark Zuckerberg's accusing us of, of some kind of chicanery here. $3 and not $300? What? Oh, we're all perplexed with this. Like, what? what did big shot Rob pocket $297? And on Daniela's side, she's just like, don't send to that cash app again. I'll give you another one without any other explanation. So Big Shot Rob didn't work out. So now Pam Jackson's on the case. I send this over, 300. Now please take care of my truck. Tell FedEx, no stickers. Kindly send the web's receipt. But then the payment was canceled for my protection and refunded. What's going on? And she's like, can you find your way to a store and get a gift card instead? Danielle, or Daniela. Now, first here was Zuck's response. Some minutes while I confirmed the payment on this. But then before he confirmed the payment, I told my lawyer, I'm like, this was rejected. And so he, he responds here. What's going on? This is reminding, reminding my lawyer of being rejected in junior high school. 
Mark Zuckerberg says I should go to the store and get Steamer Razor Gold for 300 and then at 2.25 in the morning, I, I told him to find his way down to the store and get gift cards instead. Well, Mark Zuck gives a Venmo name, says he doesn't know why the payment was declined, but it was brought to his attention that $3 was sent instead of 300 He doesn't know how it was done. I, I don't know how it was done. C certainly, I don't. Needless to say, we're relieved that that they don't know why it was declined either. Hopefully it was just some easy misunderstanding, but I am counting on the truck as, as I've obviously already put it on Facebook marketplace. But, um, the $3 that they did get, they can deduct that. It's like, so now I owe like two ninety seven, right? Mark Zuckerberg writes, thank you for getting back to my mail after a while. It's quite unfortunate that the 300 can't be deducted from the winnings because it's been sealed and it's against our protocol to unseal or touch it. It's unfortunate that things are sealed and can't be touched and you can't deduct the fees from my, my earnings. Important notice from Mark Zuck. Don't forget to send the receipt and endeavor. Mr. Zuck attaches the requested gift card. Gift card is from the office of Vandalay and Carruthers. The amount of $297. This is perfect. And this is the gift card my lawyer sent. <laughs> to Mark Zuck. Mark Zuck, you don't you don't like the gift card? What? Dearest Muck, thank you for responding after a while. This certainly is not a joke. We take pride in our gift card design. Is it to your liking? I mean, you wanted the the 297, right? And it's in your name. Let's get back over to Danielle. I'm like, who is Pam Jackson? Because that was the last cash app I was given. Pam Jackson is person delivering your package. But she, since she hasn't gotten the delivery fee, I'm like, what about Big Shot Rob? Did he get fired? He did. He got fired because of my fake transfer. Like, I didn't do such. Of course you did. It was twice. So they thought he was stealing the money. He probably was. So I send my Steam cards. I didn't send the receipt. I think that's why she's calling me. Kindly snap the receipts along with the card so I can figure out how much is in total. 300, 250s and 200s. Kindly snap the receipts. And she's like, the card you bought is not supported in our firm. I'm like, your firm is having trouble with all my payments. Mark Zuck sends a message to my lawyer that he'd like to see the receipt. So here's the receipt that my lawyer sent. I, I appreciate that it has pig trust on there. What type of receipt is this? This is the requested receipt for the requested gift card. Mark Zuck, he, he's like, is this some kind of joke to you, James? Really? It's like, here, it shows the card invalid. This is the end of it. He's like, the card is from our gift shop. It says so on the card complete with a barcode. It's not joke. It's merely trying to get the client's money that's due. And a truck and balloons and a briefcase. Mark Zuck then has to clarify. We don't accept A, V, and C gift cards here. You have to get real gift card at the store. Thank you for understanding. I I'm disheartened. I bought a flight. Um, you scheduled a meeting with Mark Zuck, and he ended up canceling. I should be driving my truck home right now. She says it's not her fault. Me and my lawyer are making a fool out of her. What company creates a card of its own? I'm like, every company creates a card of their own. Amazon creates their own cards, Google, Steam. All these companies create their own cards. I, I get it. My, my lawyer's a bit quirky, but the $3 should have been 300 And then you canceled the other one. <sighs> Just let me pick up my truck. The CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, is on a vape. Are you telling me that Mark Zuck is Mark Zuckerberg? I had no idea. This is complete. He's the CEO of Publishers Clearinghouse? It's like, yeah. She, he acquired it from Andrew Goldberg. The details, apparently, of that are going to be with my winnings. Danielle says the online card doesn't work, but it did tell me something about it. Apparently, she's not who she says she is. You got me crazy. You just let me waste all my time. I'm like, that was the plan, to waste your time. Are you proud of your work? Is your mother proud of you? Here he's, here he's saying, you're crazy. What type of scammer are you? And I don't, I, again, coconut head is, is a, a thing from over there, but he's upset that I wasted his time. I guess I'm not getting a truck. 
I got a phone call today, a video chat. The video was on, and then, then the video turned off rather quickly, but I got this little still shot while the, while the video was on. <laughs> she asked, are you here with me? I'm like, yeah. And they send the screenshot that I got from the video. I'm like, who this? Is that you, Daniela? It's one of those hoodlums impersonating her profile. <laughs> it came straight from this profile you are now talking to me on. I'm like, sure thing, chicken wing. God, go punish you. I'm like, I'm not the scammer here. I think he's going to punish you. <laughs> if you are contacted by a scammer like this, just block. Don't, don't engage. Trust me, it's not worth it. If you want to learn more about how to protect yourself from scammers like this, check out the nonprofit Defend's website at helpusdefend.com.